Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today we will discuss the equipartion of energy and uh, real gas, also the van der Van equation. In the سابقة تعرفنا على إن the internal energy of an ideal gas with F degree of freedom F equal 3 monoatomic 5 diatomic and 6 polyatomic but these three degree of freedom or for three monoatomic 5 uh, from where we can uh, get it this is related to the equipartion of energy then equipartial of energy is one of the principal themes of this course is to gain a general a generally applicable definition of absolute temperature from statistical mechanic statistical this means counting for now absolute temperature temperature t is a proportional to other average translational kinetic energy of particle in a gas. So we have kinetic expectation value la kinetic energy translational equals constant madrub with temperature. In fact, each independent quadratic term in the energy of particle in the gas. Example NOS M V X square, NOS K X square, NOS I omega square, but not MGH, not potential energy, is found to have the average energy E energy mod NOS K T, and this is the equipartial theorem. K is Plotzman constant equal 1.38 في عشر القوة ناقص 23 جول لكل كلفن and is independent of particle properties mass, charge and so on we will show later why and when this theorem applies okay then equiparation of energy nos k t per quarter degree of freedom. Free point particle is a carry in the free point of part only translation kinetic energy. If then it's harakil particle in X, Y, Z components. So we have nos m v x square, z nos m v y square, z nos m v z square. This means equal a three madrube be a nos kt bil equipartial theorem. So three madrube be nos kt. Then this is for monoatomic. Then average energy is independent of mass. If I can anti diatomic molecule, then we have diatomic this means we have a translational energy and rotational energy and then nos mvx square that nos mvy square that nos mvz square and that nos i omega 1 square that nos i omega 2 square we have two Rotational kinetic energy. And then this means we have five degree of freedom. Five times nos kt, which equal five over two kt. At normal temperature, vibration are not active in molecule. We will see why later. Okay, mass on spring. 
This means kinetic energy and potential energy. Nos kx square zed nos and vx x square what say kt. If I can end the vibration in solids, this means kinetic zed potential energy in a three dimension. If I nos kx square zed nos x square z, no sky y square, no and v y square z, no sky z square z, no and v z y, right? So we have the kt. This is the average thermal energy per atom. If there are n atoms in the solid, the total thermal energy is three n kt. Then monoatomic, diatomic depends on degree of freedom, degree of freedom from equipartial uh, theory. For monoatomic, we have a three degree of freedom, and for diatomic, we have transmissional and retentional kinetic energy, we have five. Okay. Either from last lecture, the ideal gas law, recall, recall that we divided this pressure energy relation. Pressure equal n n على v على ثلاثة v. مضروب ب الكينيتيك انرجي ترانسميشن. Let's add equipartial energy. إذا بدنا نضيف الاكويبارشن t e translation equal ثلاثة على اثنين كي تي. So نعوض الثلاثة اثنين كي تي بدل kinetic energy transitional. What to say with this is give us the ideal gas flow B في V تساوي N capital K T. Then this relation is independent of thermal of internal mode of the molecules, but it does require that the molecule interact much with each other. We have some relation between the Avogadro constants in previous lecture. محاضرات السابقة شفت لنا علاقة بين الأفجادر نمبر أفجادر كونستانس and A and gas كونستانس then sometimes it's useful to specify the number of moles n number of moles n instead of the number of atoms or molecule n then n number of moles equal n over n a where n a is Avogadro number molecules per mole even the Avogadro constant so the ideal gas law can be written in terms of n or n capital in terms of n number of moles or number of atoms or molecule n capital n capital number of atoms or molecule. By number n small number of moles. Then B V V equal N K T which is N N A K T which is N R T. Where R N A V K is the gas constant which equal 8.314 joule local mole kelvin. Example, consider more ideal case at atmospheric pressure zero Celsius T equal zero Celsius temperature what say we methane with the to Sabine Kelvin then how the Celsius the Kelvin and the pressure equal one atom what say we one for ash one point one for ash or co we have see best car even from uh, relation V B V V بتساوي N R T ولكن بدنا إيش الفوليوم تساوي N R T over V ف N we have one mole ضرب تمانية وثلاث جول لكل مول كلفن ضرب T 
تي 273 كلفن على البريشر تساوي 1.1 في 10 قوة 5 باسكال وتساوي 22.4 في 10 قوة ناقص 3 متر مكعب إذا بدنا نحولها وتساوي 2.22.4 متر Okay. Then internal energy of classical ideal gas. Let's mean classical means equipartial applied. That means energy some constants alpha and kT. Ideal means that molecule interact vacuum. No liquid or liquids or solids. And alpha is constant over limit range of temperature. Then, the, the see the references of elements in uh, this chapter or in the uh, previous lecture. And then, for here is the energy at room temperature for most gases. For monoatomic gas. Helium, neon, argon. We have three translational modes. X, Y, Z. So the energy equal 3 over 2 and kT. For diatomic rigid molecule, example, methyl, N2, O2, CO, we have three translational modes, X, Y, Z, and plus two rotational modes. Here, omega X, rotation on the X axis, and rotation on the Y axis. So we have U equal 5 on 2 and KT. If non-linear rigid molecule, with the water H2O and H3, we have three translational modes X, Y, Z, and we have also three rotational modes then omega X, omega Y, and omega Z. In this case, the energy is the and KT. Then any classical ideal gas, alpha depends on the type of molecule. So U to say alpha and KT, what say we alpha B V V. Okay. Example for internal energy of gas, a pressurized gas bottle. V, the volume of the bottle equal 0.05 meter mukaab, contains helium gas at a pressure B بتساوي 1 في 10 القوة 7 باسكال and temperature T equal 300 Kelvin. What is the internal thermal energy of this gas? Okay, helium. Then solution equal alpha B V, what to say? ثلاثة على اثنين B V وتساوي واحد ونصف عشر قوة كان مضروبة في 0.05 متر مكعب إذا this energy سبعة ونصف عشر القوة خمسة جول so this is a lot of energy another example we have container A contains one mole helium gas a monoatomic gas at pressure B and volume V. Container B contains one mole of hydrogen H2. And H2, in this case, it's not monoatomic, it's H2 13. We have a diatomic, diatomic gas at the same pressure BV. So compare the thermal energy in the two cases. Then, بنعرف إنه each quadratic degree of freedom gets kT over two, not kT. 
the monoatomic gas three degree of freedom. The diatomic gas three is the additive of So the relation, the energy U H two on the helium, say alpha diatomic on the monoatomic, what say we five on the three. Then the U on the helium is less than H two. Okay. Compare the temperature in the two cases. When you split the temperature, temperature in the helium is equal to temperature in the H2. As we have defined it thus far, the temperature depends only on the transitional kinetic energy. So Bd is equal to nKT. Example of kinetic energy of gas: A small room at room temperature T equal 300 Kelvin and atmospheric pressure measure 3 meter, that is 2.4 meter, that is 0.52 meter. Estimate the number of molecule in the room. And then bid the number of molecule, number of molecule and capital, BV over KT. And المعلومات اللي بس بالإكسامبل and we have 9.2 في عشرة القوة 26 مليون. طيب estimate the total transitional kinetic energy associated with the molecule. U transitional kinetic energy equal n في the kinetic energy transitional. What is our third half name B V? وتساوي خمسة بونت سبن في عشرة القوة ستة جول. Okay. If we assume these molecules are primer nitrogen N2 molecule, what is their average root mean square speed? إذا ال kinetic energy transition equal نص m N2 في average v square وتساوي ثلاثة اثنين kT. إذا في r m s راح تساوي the square هو مين root مين square للثلاثة كت على m n two وتساوي خمس مية وخمسة عشر متر لكل second. Okay, in period your lecture we discussed the ideal gas. لكن what's happened if we have real gases? Okay, deviation, deviation from ideal gas low are particularly important at high pressure and low temperature. Real gas, gases differ from ideal gas in that they can be interaction between molecules in the gas state. إذا في الحالات الغازية إذا بصير عندنا interaction between the molecules. Repulsive force is important only when molecules are nearly in contact. Very high pressure. Gases at high pressure. Gases less compressible. أما attractive force operate at relatively long range, several molecule diameter. Gases at moderate pressure are more compressible since attractive force dominate. إذن راح تسيطر الاتراكتف فورس قوة الجذب بهاي الحالة راح تتم بي سيطر. At low pressure, neither repulsive or attractive force dominate and this is ideal behavior then let me put on the low pressure the ideal gas at low pressure so may be repulsive or attractive uh, forces and this is ideal behavior the ideal gas law ignores both the volume occupied 
by the molecule of gas and all interaction between molecules. Then the ideal gas law, then we have the volume and the interaction between molecules, whether attractive or repulsive. In reality, all gases have a volume, and the molecule of real gas interact with one another. So, for an ideal gas, a plot BV over NRT versus a pressure gives a horizontal line with an intercept of 1 on the PV over NRT axis. Okay, then if there are some PV over NRT, many pressure. So we have ideal gas is 1. Okay, real gases behave ideally at ordinary temperatures and pressure. At low temperature and high pressure, real gas do not behave ideal. Then, gases at low temperature, if we run on a low pressure, okay. If the gas may not be perceived as ideal. The reasons for the deviation from the ideality are. Now the molecules are very close to one another, thus their volume is important. Also, the molecular interaction also become important. Even if volume with interactions, it's important in real gas. Even a real gas, the Van der Waal equation. Real gas. Don't follow BV equal NRT. Then we know that the ideal gas equation equal BV BV to say NRT perfectly. The Van der Waal equation correct for the non-ideal nature of real gas. So we have correct the pressure. And we have correct the volume. This is a correction of a pressure, terms of a pressure. And this is correction of term of volume. So Bz n square a over v square, madrubi fi v naqas n b equal n r t. This is the Van der Waal equation for the real gas. And A term A correct for interaction between atoms, and B correct for volume occupied by atoms. So a non-zero volume of molecule equal N B. B is the constant depends on the type of gas. The exclude, excluded volume. It represents the volume occupied by n moles of molecule. Type. The molecule have less free space to move around n. So replace V in the ideal gas equation by V minus N B. Very roughly P equal death by R cube, where R is the molecular radius. And then the attractive forces between real molecules, which reduce the pressure. And then the attractive, قوّة الجذب بين real molecules تعمل على تقليل pressure. So the pressure proportional to wall collision frequency, and the pressure change in momentum at each collision. So both factor are proportional to the concentration N over V, and B is reduced by an amount A equal A madrube 
n على v square where a depends on type of gas in an the constant a will constant b it depends on type of gas so note and a over v square is called internal pressure of gases n square madrube b a ala v square represent the effect on a pressure to enter molecular interaction or repulsion then the pressure becomes b zed n square v e v a ala v square example if sulfur oxide were an ideal gas the pressure at zero celsius exerted by one mole occupied 22.41 liter would be 180 m use the van der waal equation to estimate the real pressure احنا بنعرف ان pressure بتساوي ان ار تي في على v ناقص ان b ناقص ان سكوير a على v سكوير والكونستانت r equal t 273 الفوليوم 22.41 لتر a for sulfur oxide بتساوي 30.865 لتر سكوير اتوم بير مول سكوير and B equal 0.05679 liter local mole. Solving the Van der Waal equation for pressure. Okay. If they have now what the Van der Waal equation for pressure, and it's get pressure equal 0.9898 m. Where the real pressure exerted by one mole of SO2 at STB. STB, this is a standard temperature pressure. Nahki an the standard temperature pressure is slightly less than ideal gas pressure. And then, the ideal gas is 180 M. The real gas is. It's 0.989 ATM. The real gas is 1 ATM. Okay. Then we are often interested in delta U, not U. Delta U is due to, then this is in work and heating or heat. Q is energy flow between a system and its environment due to delta T across boundary and a finite thermal conductivity of the boundary. This is, we have heating, if we have heating gas, the gas it will be expand and the piston it will be goes up. This means we have work. And then, uh, work any other kind of energy transfer across boundary is called work work and heating are both defined to describe energy transfer across a system boundary this is a system and this is the boundary okay this is the boundary of the system so heating or cooling process we have conduction the energy transfer by molecule in contact. Fast moving molecule transfer energy to slow moving molecule by collisions. Conviction by macroscopic motion of gas or liquid. Radiation by emission or absorption of electromagnetic radiation. Okay, this is the end of this lecture. And thank you for your attention.